can smell all the fruits everywhere. Look at that. Kalandan? Here we go. Oh my god, look at all that vegetable. There is so much that person. Hello! Oh, my god, pink! Hello, Kuya! Green, of course. Oh, we got grape. Hello! Green, It's gonna be distributed everywhere in the city. Hey! Dami, ah! Takasan yun, Dalandan! Takasan yun, Dalandan! Batangas! I'm actually down in Divisoria right now. I just passed Elias Street. And a lot of you probably don't know what's happening in Divisoria at night. Now, usually here what happens is that the normal stores will close and the whole area becomes vegetable and fruits market at night. So if ever you guys wanna get the freshest fruit and freshest vegetables in the city of Manila, this is the place to go. And it's cheap, it is so cheap. So guys, let me show you a little bit around so you can see what kind of vegetables and fruits they have here in Divisoria at night. Wow, it smells so much of Dalandan here. It's really, really nice. And look at how many, many bags of Dalandan they have. This whole jeepney is just full of Dalandan, huh? It's gonna be distributed everywhere in the city. Hey! Dame, wow, it smells good. I love the smell of the Dalandan, yeah? <laughs> And let's go to the other side. My goodness, I've never seen so many Dalandans in my life. That's incredible. Just look at this. Jeepney after Jeepney, just full of Dalandan, huh? So it's being sold and it's being reloaded to be stepped to other markets around Metro Manila. Now look at that. Oh my God, it smells just so good. Unbelievable. So guys, if you want Dalandan, this is absolutely the place to go and buy. Look at the whole jeepney there. That's full. Oh, sorry, Goya. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at the other side. How come there's so many Dalandans right now? Huh? Is it really the time of the year? Okay. One way. Bawal, whatever, to go there. Okay. Let's go down to this area here. Let's have a look. Man, look at that, huh? So this is what's going on in Divisoria at night. I guess most of you wouldn't even have believed this. No, look at this. Another jeepney just full of Dalandans, no? Dami, ah? Takasan yun Dalandan? Takasan yun Dalandan? Batangas. Oh, okay. So it's coming all the way from Batangas, no? So they drive during day, they come in here late afternoon, And they set up here to distribute it all over the city, huh? Wow, that is just amazing. Why, there's so many Dalandans today. Never seen that many. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, then we got oranges over here. Ah, dami. Dami. Taste of nature. Oh, look how fresh it looks, huh? This is much better than going to the supermarket. I just cannot believe there's so many seedless fruits this time of the year. And it smells so good and fresh. Wow. Hey, Goya. Oh, look at how big they are. Huh. Mangoes. Wow, look at all the mangoes here and the apples. No, also mangoes, sorry. Wow. There are mangoes in different colors. I'm fine, how are you? That's great! <laughs> wow, mangoes everywhere in this side. So up in the front was Dalandan. And down here we got mangoes. Look at the size of these mangoes. Oh my god. This is so big. That's a lot. All kinds of sizes and shapes and colors. Oh my goodness. Just kind of... Oh, we're back again here these big sacks of mangoes. Wow, that's amazing. Have you ever seen that much fruit? So I'm just wondering if I see so much fresh fruit here, 
at very, very low prices. Now, how come I don't see this in the supermarkets? Because when I buy in the supermarkets, within just a few days, it's already rotten or bad, you know? And the prices are so high, it's incredible. That's why I don't buy fruits and vegetables anymore in the supermarkets. I love to come down here to Divisoria and buy it straight from the traders. It's much, much better, it's fresher, and it tastes good. Right. That's a completely different Divisoria from what you usually see during the daytime if you come here to buy stuff, you know? Wow, you can smell all the fruits everywhere. Incredible. Uh huh. Buko, huh? Coconuts. Right, more yellow mango over here on the other side. Oh, also over there. Doesn't really matter where I go, I see so many mangoes, huh? And look at that. Ooh, uh. All right, garlic. Is it? No, not garlic. Oh, that's vegetables. Oh, sorry. Different, different vegetables. All right. So, another chimney full of galantan. And here we go. Oh my god, look at all that vegetable. There is so much vegetables. So why is it in the supermarkets we can't get all these vegetables? It's all, always either bad, or it's sold out, or it's extremely expensive. Oh, look at the chili here, huh? Is that perfect? It's whole food, huh? Yeah. Bok choy, carrots, look at that big bag of carrots over there. Man. Wow, potatoes, huh? There you go. Man. That is absolutely amazing, huh? We've got ginger, we got onions. Garlic, more onions, more ginger, uh, hello. peppers, hello, what's up? Oh. There's definitely no shortage of any sort of vegetable and gulai Dito sa Philippines, ah. Kaba ang dami talaga, no? Alright, let's take a look over here on the other side and see what's happening here. This is, it's basically like different places or different areas they got different gulay, no? So we had the dalandang, we had the mangoes over on the other side, no? And this side we have what? Uh, well, okay, we also have mangoes. Alright, avocados. I see avocados, wow. 160 per one kilo. Definitely way cheaper than buying it in the supermarkets. Oh, then I see mangosteen. Hey, Greya. Hello. Oh, mangosteen. Wow. Hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Kuya. Hello, Ma. <laughs> Ay, okay. It's great. Everybody's always so happy here. And look at all that. Pretty amazing. Moyo, mangosteen, of course. Oh, we got grapes. Hello. Grapes, apples, lemons. Oh, I even see strawberries. You see it? Oh. Alright, what do we have over here? 60 per kilo for Davao sweet pomelo. Then we've got 70 per kilo, so it depends on the quality of the size, maybe. Grapes. <laughs> 
has a different smell from the daytime because when you come down to hey when you come down here during daytime it doesn't smell too good but right now because of all the veggies and the fruits it smells really good we got castanias over here and, and right in front of us somewhere we got the divisoria mall okay let's walk up there What kind of nano potatoes? 45. 45. Sige, 90 na lang, ha? Huh? Opo. Huh? So, 2 kilos of potatoes for 90 pesos. Now, that's cheap, huh? Even if you compare it to like uh, Landers or SNR, you know, this is way, way cheaper, huh? Imagine two kilos for 90 pesos. So. Right, so that was potatoes. What do I still have to get? I have to get, I uh, know. I have to get mango and I have to get uh, garlic. Yes, I need garlic. Thank you, thank you, Abe. Thank you, Graham. All right, so my two kilos of potatoes for 90 pesos, huh? Wow. wow, not bad, not bad. Okay, so my hunt is on for garlic and mango. All right, where's the garlic? Hmm, maybe I'm going the wrong way or maybe I haven't reached it yet. Okay, wow, noodles, huh? No, sorry, that's not noodles, that's uh, no. Uh, bean sprouts, sorry, bean sprouts and wow, carrots, they look so fresh and good, huh? Oh my goodness, ginger, garlic, garlic, yay! Adam, can you garlic? So you see, it's right here at Divisorium Mall where all this fruit is every single night. Now it starts around, I think it's about 6 o'clock that they start changing it from ordinary products to the fruits and the vegetables. Damn. Hey, oh, they're constructing a new building here. I wonder what that's gonna be. It looks kind of like a mall again, or wholesale market probably. That's also okay because at least you can walk inside and you can buy it, whatever it is that you need down here. Let's go over to the last street. That's usually where you buy chips and candies and snacks during daytime. Now during nighttime, I'm not actually sure what they sell, but oh, it's also fruits. Okay, but it's not too much. All right, so this street is a little bit empty, it seems. Yeah, not too much. But during daytime, this street is actually very busy. And the old factory of Columbia candy is actually right over here. Now that's interesting, yeah. Okay, so let's go back, go the other way. Melons, that looks nice. Hey, how are you? Okay, I think we'll go back to the other side again. Yeah. So what does it say? Oh, 818 Mall Commercial and Warehouse. All right, so it is gonna be a mall. I thought so, and then maybe apartments or something on top. Or warehouses, yeah, maybe warehouses on top of it. All right, that is a big tricycle, huh? Look at how big they are, those tricycles, huge. All right, so usually, actually, I see more fruits and vegetables right here. I don't know why there's so little, maybe because of the lockdown, and it's hard to travel from um, province to province right now, so maybe that's why there's less than usually. Because when I come down here, usually, oh, look at that big <laughs> tricycle. How big is that tricycle, man? I see, usually when I come down here at night, you know, it's really, really full. Amen. It's just vegetables everywhere here. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.